Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Age Origins. My name is Pixelated Twix and we are going to go ahead and continue on with our journey. I'm just going to hop right in, get into it. No wasting time here. So I think, um, I think we're going to go ahead and, uh, yes. grab, mm, but I want to grab one. I feel like I need a healer. That's the thing. I always need a healer. Um, Alistair, you are my main tank. You guys aren't going to be great tanks, and you aren't either, Shale, unfortunately. Yes. So, um, hmm. We had Shale with us. We had Agron. Um, you know what? We haven't used Wynn in a while, and we haven't used Liliana in a while, so... You know what? Yes. Let's take Zevran. I don't know how this is going to go, but... We're going to head over to the Priscillian Forest because this is the last um, group of people that we need to recruit to help us fight the Darkspawn. Oh, that was right away. Okay. I forgot that we were right here. We use up to something. Oh yeah, I remember this. Wind's about to show off. We'll go ahead then, Win. Do your thing. That's not the spirit. Severin. Sorry, dude. I completely forgot to um, do this. Did it? No. Is it up here? No, there's nothing up here. Let's loot this guy. Where are they? Oh, they're right there. Gotcha. You know what? Loot these guys before we go over there. All right. <laughs> interesting hmm. and draining what was that did you summon the spirit i called forth the spirit that sustains me so that it could lend us aid i did not realize it would take this much out of me it seemed a good idea at the time if a little rash i think it may have weakened the spirit a little it so you could have killed yourself doing this well Certainly conceivable. I suppose I shouldn't be using that particular trick to entertain children at parties. Yeah, I don't want you to exert yourself. It's not a oh. demon that requires controlling. That is not what I was saying. Need not fear it. Okay. I promise I'll be careful. And thank you. Your concern is touching. That was not what I meant to say, but uh, okay. That worked out too. All right. Let's go. This is the way out. 
Not even worried about the elf root. Stop right there, outsider. The Dela should camp in this spot. I suggest you go elsewhere and quickly. Um. Actually, I've been looking for the Dalish. I find that hard to believe. What business could we Dalish possibly have with a group like yours? I'm a Grey Warden. I wish to speak to your leader. Take me to your leader. A Grey Warden? How do I know you're telling the truth? You will have to take my word on it. I suppose that a lie wouldn't gain you much benefit. I shall bring you to the keeper. So in the wind's camp, arm. I suggest you keep your hands to yourself and remember that our arrows are still trained on you. Follow me. So with Wen's arm. Is she supposed to be carrying her staff? Oh, that's weird. Hmm. I see we have guests. Who are these strangers, Nithra? I have precious little patience and less time to spend on outsiders today. This one claims to be a Grey Warden and wishes to speak with the clan. I thought it best to leave the decision to you. That was wise of you. Masirinus Mithra, you may return to your post. Manuvinen Keeper. Hmm. Now, allow me to introduce myself. I am Zafrian, the keeper of this clan. It's guide and preserver of our ancient lore. And you are? Mm. I, my name is Natalia. Pleasure to meet you. Manners. From a Shemlin. Interesting. What might be your mission here? Have you come to spread news of the Blight? I had already sensed the corruption spreading in the South. The existence of the Blight is not news to me. I would have taken the clan north by now, had we the ability to move. Sadly, as you can see, we do not. Yes, it seems like you've had your own troubles. What are the odds? <laughs> I imagine you are here regarding the treaty we signed centuries ago. Unfortunately, we may not be able to live up to the promise we made. This will require some explanation. Please, follow me. Okay. Okay. Yep. The clan came to the Brazilian forest one month ago, as is our custom when we enter this part of Ferelden. We are always wary of the dangers in the forest. But we did not expect the werewolves would be lying in wait for us. They ambushed us. And though we drove the beasts back, much damage was done. Many of our warriors lie dying as we speak. Even with all our magic and healing skill, we will eventually be forced to slay our brethren to prevent them from becoming beasts. The Blight's evil must be stopped. But we are in no position to uphold our obligations. I am truly sorry. Um, hmm. Why do these beasts attack you? They are savage and unrelenting. They need no reason to attack anyone. What is curious, however, is the ambush. We expect werewolves to be no more cunning than a rabid wolf. The ambush suggests a level of intelligence we've never seen before. Maybe they aren't as unintelligent as you think. I doubt that. The very curse that is in their blood fills them with an unreasoning rage that precludes any true thought. Okay. Is there no way to help your men? The affliction is a curse that runs rampant in their blood, bringing great agony and then ultimately either death or a transformation into something monstrous. The only thing that could help them must come from the source of the curse itself. And that that would be no trivial task to retrieve. Well, I am good at non-trivial tasks. Within the Brazilian forest dwells a great wolf. We call him Witherfang. It was within him that the curse originated, and through his blood that it has been spread. If he is killed and his heart brought to me, perhaps I could destroy the curse. But this task has proven too dangerous for us. I sent some hunters into the forest a week ago, but they have not returned. I cannot risk any more of my clan. I will find this weather thing for you. I must warn you that more than werewolves lurk in the Brazilian forest. 
It has a history full of carnage and murder, you see. Where there is so much death, the veil separating the spirit realm from our own becomes thin, allowing spirits to possess things, living or dead. But if you can indeed help, then I wish you luck. Don't need any equipment, do I? I mean, maybe. I have some questions for you. Make them quick, if you please. I have much to do here. Sure. My apprentice Lanaya or Sayrel, the clan's storyteller, could provide you with answers just as easily. How do I find Weatherfang? Do you have any advice? Watch for the white wolves. They are his eyes and ears in the forest. Tell me more about this curse the hunters suffer from. There is not much to say. It stemmed originally from Witherfang, but now any werewolf may infect someone with it. So did all the werewolves everywhere stem from Weatherfang? No. The ones from this forest, however, do. How do you know if you've been infected by the curse? You will know within a matter of days. You will begin to sweat and vomit, and most tellingly, your temper will become wild and uncontrollable. If that happens to you, you should seek out Witherfang even more swiftly. Your mission at that point will be rather personal. Hmm. How did this curse start? That is a long tale I do not have time to tell. Sure. Ask Sayrel about it if you wish. Okay, I want to ask something else. Go on then. I should go. I must return to caring for my people. Creator's speed on your way. Okay. Quest updated. Slay Witherfang and bring his heart to Zatharin. Zatharin told you that the curse that has befallen the elves originated in the great wolf Witherfang. If the beast is slain, Zatharin may be able to use its heart to break the curse. Okay, so it looks like we have some hunting to do. New Codex. Selace the Hearthkeeper? Selace. Selace the Hearthkeeper is seen as the sister of Andrel the Huntress. While Andrel loved to run with the creatures of the wild, Selace preferred to, to stay by her home tree, occupying herself with gentle arts and song. It is Selace who gave us fire and taught us how to use it. It is Selace who showed us how to heal with herbs and with magic and how to ease the passage of infants into this world. And again, it is Selace who showed us how to spin the fibers of plants into thread and rope. We owe much to Selace, and that is why we sing to her when we kindle the fires and when we put them out. That is why we sprinkle our arrivals with Selace's fragment, fragrant tree moss and ask that she protect them and all within. As told by Gisharel, keeper of Relaferin, clan of the Dalish Shelves. Alright, who do you need? I guess, what is this? God of the Craft? June, God of the Craft. Alright, I'm not going to read everything here. We dedicate all our crafts to June, for it is he who taught the people to be the bend the branch of trees the branches of trees to make our bows and to fashion coverings of furs and ironbark. Without June, would we have the Aravel or the harnesses for a holla? Holla! Okay, sorry. When the people were young, we wandered the forest without purpose. We drank from streams and ate berries and nuts that we could find. We did not hunt, for we had no bows. We wore nothing, for we had no knowledge of spinning or needlecraft. We shivered in the cold nights and went hungry through the winters, when all the world was covered in ice and snow. Then Selais the hearthkeeper came and gave us fire and taught us how to feed it with wood. June taught us to fashion bows and arrows with knives so that we could hunt. We learned to cook the flesh of the creatures we hunted over Selais's fire, and we learned to clothe ourselves in their furs and skins, and the people were no longer cold and hungry. As told by Garishel, keeper of Relaferin, clan of the Dalish elves. Hmm. It's interesting that each of these um, factions have their own religion. The humans believe in the maker. The dwarves believe in the stone. The elves believe in these, I guess, gods and goddesses of nature. Perhaps. Um... Okay, let's see. I'm Darren Atishan, stranger. I am Athos, 
I hope the others have not been too harsh in their treatment of you. Uh, they've been a bit suspicious. It is not our intention to insult the Grey Warden. We are simply wrapped up in the plight of our hunters. It is easy to forget simple niceties at such a time. I understand you will search for the wolves in the Brazilian forest. I would join you, but Zathrian has forbidden me. Hmm. Forbidden you? We are banned from entering the forest now. I have more cause than most, but I will not disobey my keeper. Why would you want to enter the forest? That is a tale I am not sure I should tell an outsider. Surely you have greater concerns than my problems, stranger. Please, I'd like to hear about it. It's odd to talk so freely with a stranger, but perhaps you can help me. My wife, Denila, and I both fought the werewolves in the ambush. She was injured so gravely, the curse spread rapidly in her. Zathrian fought hard to ease her pain, but there was little he could do. And though he says that Denila is dead, he will not let me see her. Her body. I am beginning to believe she became a werewolf. Mm. And that it is being kept from me so I do not go chasing after her. If I could just know if Denila is alive or what happened to her, then I could be at peace. I'm sorry, that's terrible. Masiranas, thank you. The Keeper means well, but I must discover the truth for myself. If you were in the forest, perhaps you might come across her, alive or dead. Mm. Any news would be better than none. And in return, I would be happy to gift you an amulet made by our craftsmen. It may fetch you some coin in the human lands. I'll see what I can do. Since we seem to be heading into the forest anyhow, that does seem to be the right thing to do. You are most kind. I should go. Please. Should you come across my wife, return and tell me. New quest, Lost to the Curse. Athra's wife, Dan, uh, Danila, Danila, was infected by the werewolf dis disease. Zathrin says she is dead, but will not allow Athras, is Athras to see her body. Athras believes she is still alive, but has become a werewolf. You promised him that you would try to find Danila in the forest. Okay, well... What is this? Colored inks? Valasalin? Blood writing? When the children of our people came, come of age, they earn the privilege of wearing the Valasalin, the blood writing. It, is, it sets us apart from the Shemlin and from the elves who have thrown their lot in with them. It reminds us that we will never again surrender our traditions and beliefs. The ritual deserves great reverence. The one who is to gain the Valasalin must prepare by meditating on the gods and the ways of our people by purifying the body and the skin. When the time comes, the keeper of the clan applies the blood writing. This is done in complete silence. Cries of pain or signs of weakness. If one cannot tolerate the pain of the blood writing, they are not ready to undertake the responsibilities of an adult. The keeper may stop the ritual if they decide that one, that the one gaining the vaseline is not ready. There is no shame in this. For all children are different, and our ancestors took centuries to come of age. As told by Gisharel, keeper of Ralafarin, clan of the Dalish De Elves. So the markings all over their faces are um, badges of honor. In the Dwarven Kingdom, those same markings or similar markings are considered shameful. Not so much in the Dalish culture. Interesting. Okay. Who do we need to talk to? Elf nurse, maybe? I'm sorry, but I must attend to our ailing fallen. Okay. So we... Oh, we need to talk to... Mm. It shall be done. Please leave that be. If you have need of equipment, I am sure Master Verathorn can help you. Right. Sorry. Uh, I am sorry. I'll leave it alone. Must Cyrenus. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, because he did not say we could use that. I'm Darren Grey Warden. My name is Lanaya. I am Zapian's first, what you might call an apprentice, perhaps. I've been studying under the Keeper all my life. I am a bit curious of the outside world. Do you mind if I ask you a question or two? If you like, go ahead. I hear the human cities are very large. Thousands upon thousands of souls all packed together in their houses. Is that true? 
Yes, some are larger than the eye can see. How very loud that must be with everyone talking all at once. I try to imagine those of our people living in such a place, surrounded by walls of stone and indifference. It is a difficult thought. It isn't an easy life for them now, that is true. I suppose you have met many of my kind in your travels. My heart goes out to them. It is said that one day we will have a land of our own. We Dalish gather the ancient wisdom in preparation for this. When that day comes, all elves, even those who have forgotten, will reclaim their former glory. I have a question, if it's not too impolite to ask. Do your people regret what they did to ours? Some of us do. Not all humans are the same. I see. That is difficult for our people to accept. Even if only some were in favor of what was done to us, the rest did nothing to stop it. A poet once wrote of them before the fall of the Dales. Like dragons they fly, glory upon wings. Like dragons they savage, fearsome pretty things. But you don't need me to quote poetry to you. Forgive me. Perhaps you have some questions of your own. What can you tell me about Zathrin? Nothing that you could not ask Zathrian himself. He is the keeper of this clan and has been for a very long time. He is also a very good man who has lost much. The Dalish are everything to him, and he would do anything to protect them. Lost much? What has he lost? He lost his family oh. a very long time ago. I don't know the story, but I understand the circumstances were horrific. Yeah, I don't need to know. Um... Tell me more about yourself. I'm hardly anyone special, I assure you. If I seem different from the rest of my clan, it's only because I was born amongst humans. I came to the Dalish at a very young age, but I've always retained my curiosity about the world I came from. How did you come to the Dalish if you were so young? My parents were servants to a human merchant whose caravan supplied the southern routes. One day, bandits killed him, and my parents both. I was the only survivor, just a young girl, oh, wow. and the bandits took me. I was their servant for several years. I'm sorry. It must have been horrible. It was. The long years of reflection have allowed me to come to terms with it, to put them in perspective. I can only imagine what would have happened had the clan not saved me from them. I owe them my life for that, and more. You said that the Dalish rescued you from bandits. The bandits killed a scout when the clan passed near their camp. When the clan discovered him, Zathrian came looking for his killers. He followed their tracks for almost a month, and when he finally caught up to us, he fell on the bandits like a terror. No one could stop him. Hmm. I sat there, and I watched him attack them in a blur, and I reveled in every blow. When he saw me, the fury in his eyes turned to pity. Hmm. He took me back to the clan, and I've been here ever since. I should go. As you wish. Darth Shiro. Wow. I I can understand the hostility between the elves, the Dalish elves, or the elves in general, and the humans. Although not all humans, um, just as in real the, the real world, don't agree on the same things. They don't have the same prejudices or biases. Um, cause we're all individuals and it's unfortunate that these, um, this clan and others feel that humans, um, are all the same. And, and there are some humans that treat elves less than, um, and those are, uh, you'll see that in the attitude in some of the, uh, how it, like at the beginning of the game, how, when we got to Ostagar, the the I think it was the quartermaster how he was looking for his elvish assistant but I think it was his slave and the way he spoke about her uh, maybe I shouldn't be digging into stuff let's let's talk to this guy here what are you doing you've warped the wood completely did you leave it out in the rain no master Verathorn I uh I think I just used too much heat you're not smelting ore like a Durgenlin. This is living wood. It requires patience and delicate hands, not more heat. 
My actions bring me sorrow, Master of Verathorn. And so they should. Truly the art will be lost to us forever at this rate. Throw away your dead wood and start anew, and I shall speak to our guest. Now then, please forgive my distraction, stranger. Is there something that you need? Ah, uh, what exactly do you make here? I'm the clan's craftsmaster. It's my responsibility to learn what I can of the ancient elven arts of shaping wood and ore. In truth, we Dalish know little of the art compared to what we once did. And even what we know has taken us many lifetimes to achieve. There is wood that, if treated properly, is as hard as steel but far lighter. It grows only in this forest, Ironbark. The Keeper has forbidden us from entering the forest to collect the wood. This means I cannot make our finest crafts for years to come. I may guess you want me to find some iron bark for you. I would be hesitant to ask it of you, but if you should come across iron bark, I suppose there would be no harm in gathering some. It is blue and very distinctive. You can only harvest the bark which has fallen off the tree from age. Now, if you find some, bring it to me, and I will craft it for you. Very well. I'll take a look while I'm in the forest. That would please me. So long as our hunters come first. Uh, I would like to barter with you. I am no merchant, but let us trade. Let's see what you Perhaps have. Perhaps there's something here which will be of value to you. Perhaps. Perhaps not. I don't know. Well, let's take these. I can never have too many health poultices. Do I need any more of those? Honestly, I don't, probably don't need any of these. Um, but I would like these. Create a... Da, 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 da. Acidic coating. See, these are all the... Ooh, more backpack space? Yes, please. Manual shapeshifter. Oh. This is... um. I could teach... Mm, I, I, do I want to teach... Shapeshifting to win? I mean, yeah, sure, why not? Tome of Sundry, Elf Root. I think we're good. Okay. Thank you. New quest. Rare Iron Bark. So we need to collect that. As you say. Um I wanna be careful. I will take this. Uh you know what? Zap is Zevran might have um, skills and bows. I don't know. Uh, pile of scrolls, barrel. What is this? Another. It shall be done. Elegar non god of vengeance. Ooh, this was a long one. I've done a lot of reading today, so maybe I should give this to Zevran. Let's see what he has. I don't know what he has. To be fair, I might already have something on him. I do. Antimian longbow. What is this? This one's a little bit better. What about the fox's bow? This is a lot of bit better. Dalish boots. Hmm. Anything here? Okay. What else do we have? Elf root. Zathrian, Elf Child, here's another quest. Hello. Uh, hello? Hi. Hello yourself, who are you? I'm Kamen, a hunter apprentice. Though I wish I could become a real hunter. Why can't you? I shouldn't be talking about this to an outsider. You wouldn't understand. Try me. I might surprise you. I suppose there's no harm in it. It's not like you can help me. I've been an apprentice for too long. To become a true hunter, I must bring back the pelt of a beast I killed myself. A boar or a wolf or something. I wanted to hunt in the forest, but we're forbidden to enter because of the attack. But the real problem is Gaina. Oh. Okay. Girl problems, I see. She's my heart's desire. I have asked for her hand, but she cruelly refuses it. She will not bond with an apprentice, she says, and calls me a child. I am no child. 
If I was a hunter, I could prove it, but I cannot hunt and... And Gaina will never bond with me. I feel so helpless. I shouldn't have brought it up. Just leave me to my misery. I have to say, you're a little whiny, so... Mm, you kind of come off as like a child. I... Uh, I would be turned off by it personally, but maybe gain is into something different. I don't know. Um, there must be a way to solve your problem. You think I haven't thought about this? There's nothing I can do. Perhaps I could talk to Gaina for you. I suppose you could, but what good would that do? The situation hasn't changed. I can be pretty persuasive. Really? I... I'm willing to try anything. It can't hurt. Siranas. Oh, Ma Siranas. I will pray to the goddess of love that you are successful. My mother was Dalish. They are a proud people. Those who refused to bow to defeat. Hmm. Glad I brought Zevran. Hmm. The apprentice. Oh, there's a chest over here. Now right, let's talk to Gaina. A love letter. Codex updated. Let's see. Where is the new? Mm. Let's see. Ah. Regarding bodice ripped. Enclosed are seven silver and my most heartfelt apologies for said bodice. I would blame the cold ocean spray, the loss of my favorite shirt, the booking of the stallion, or perhaps the strain of maintaining all such elements while sitting for a portrait. But I was certainly not myself. I hope you will forgive me and not take it upon yourself to find your own determined way in this world. Yours, Survival Grossman. I wonder how many more of these I need. I'll take that. Not even sure why. There's a quest down here. Halas. Who comes? Oh, I beg your pardon, stranger. I was so busy attending to the Hala, I did not hear your approach. Hala. Sorry. Uh, what is a Hala? They are the noble beasts that pull our Arabelle. What humans call land ships. They are our companions and our guides. My own people keep similar herds, but of horses. I have seen your horses. The relationship is different, as is the purpose. We ride the Hala, but never with reins or a saddle. It is the Hala who decide where to lead us, and our privilege that they take our Aravel with them. In return, it's the herder's job to speak to the Hala and care for their needs. It's a bond of friendship and not servitude. So why have you separated this one from the others? I fear she may have been bitten during the werewolf attack. Oh. I have tried speaking with her, but she is too agitated for me to understand. The curse would not affect her as it would us, but it would still be lethal. And it may prove contagious to the other Hala as well. I can find no wound on her, but if she's truly ill, then... Then I will have to put her out of her misery, for her sake as well as that of the others. Huh. Is there anything I can do to help? I don't know. Do you have any skills that might help her? If you do, I would be grateful. Survival. Try to calm the Hala. Examine the Hala. Pretend to examine the Hala. Um, I'll examine the Hala. And? What do you think? I cannot find an injury. I'm not sure what's wrong. I am glad you attempted it regardless. Try to calm the Hala? Yes. That's it. She's calming down. That's it, love. Be calm. Tell me what troubles you. Ah, I see. It is her life mate who is sick, not her. He was bitten on the leg during the attack. And she fears greatly for him. I did not realize another Hala was injured. This will allow me to prevent the sickness from spreading to the entire herd. Nasiranus, 
Thank you. You have done my clan a great boon this day. I will always be grateful for your help. Okay, no creature is more revered than by the Dalish than the Hala. No other animal has a god of its own. These white stags are much lar lar larger, I can read, than ordinary deer. And the Dalish Hala keepers carve their anthers as they grow, really, making them curve into intricate designs. In ancient times, these stags bore elven knights into combat. But since the fall of the Dales, they are used less as a mount and more to pull the Aravels. So the Dalish come from the Dales? Is that why they call them Dalish? Gilm, Gillin, Gillin, okay. Let's not even try to attempt that. Although we've already done that and failed. Okay. Uh, got Hollis over here, Hollis over there. Hollas everywhere. Elf girl. Dalish armor. You know what? Let's take the Dalish armor. It might be an upgrade for Zevran. Because I, I don't think I've given him anything, to be fair. Yeah, actually. You're looking handsome. Very handsome. Alright, let's talk to Gaina. I'm Darren Atitian, outsider. You are Gaina, correct? Cameron mentioned you. You spoke to him? What did he say? Oh, she likes him. Um. He said that you refused to give him your hand. Oh. I don't expect an outsider to understand our ways, but I just can't bond with Cameron. He's been a hunter apprentice for over two years now. And he's yet to slay a proper beast. Each time he's tried, something has gone wrong. Perhaps the creators do not wish us to bond. I cannot bond with an apprentice hunter, can I? I can see her point because, it, you know, if you're living out in the forest, you depend on peep your... You depend on your clan or whoever you're with to provide food. And... If he is a mediocre hunter or a just terrible all-around hunter, he would not be able to provide for her. And so I could see that her survival would be the first thing that she would think of, you know, priority. So even though she may like him, because it's obvious she, obviously, it is obvious that she does, use your Val's picks, um, she knows that this might be best. Still, if you love him, it doesn't matter what he is, doesn't it? That is true. He could find other ways to survive. It may not be meat on the table every night, but maybe he could find a trade that would suit him. They could still live off of that. But what if he never becomes a proper hunter? What will become of our family? Maybe he can make bows, stabs. I mean, look at the other guys over there in the corner there. <laughs> I don't know where they are. If you love him, then believe in him and help him succeed. That is true. And why does everything depend on him? If you love him, then believe in him and help him succeed. That would be my mantra. Oh, you are right. I have made poor Cameron miserable. No wonder he cannot complete his hunt. Masiranas, thank you. You have helped me put this into perspective. I will go and speak to Cameron. Cameron, I have been a fool. Gaina? What, what do you mean? Have you changed your mind? I have. The outsider has helped me to see that I was wrong. I have made you miserable, and I should not have. But what about my hunt? Oh, I don't care about that. I know you will pass your hunt in time, and we will be happy. Us and our children. Thank you, Gaina. You've made me a happy man. I feel blessed by the gods today. Ah, match make, match make, you are make both me very a grateful match. For the part you played in bringing us together. You're welcome. Anytime. How marvelous you are! I am so happy. Here, take this. It's been in my family for a very long time, but I hope it plays some part in your battle against the Darkspawn. 
It's the very least we could do. Oh, wow. What do they give me? It was that. What the heck do they give me? I have no idea. Code updated. Tale of Yorin. I have no idea. Okay. Um, Elf girl. Looks like we... I just want to go back through and make sure we got everything. Uh, did I click on this? I feel like I didn't. Because it didn't... Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. So now I guess we need to go into the forest. It doesn't look like we... Every, yeah. Pile of scrolls. Did I look at that? Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. So... This is where we go. Let's get this elf fruit. Might as well. And we're off into the forest. We're off to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. Area unlocked. West Brazilian forest. I'm more of a city elf myself. A forest like this just seems so very filthy. Filthy? It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. All right. On that note, we're going to go ahead and end it here. And, oh. I heard that. Oh, never mind. We fight. Tisk, tisk. As I said, before we were rudely interrupted, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. And uh, we will continue on with our mission to find uh, Wither, Witherbark, and other quests um, out here in the Brazilian forest. So, hope you guys are enjoying the Daily Shelves. I actually like their lore. Um, there is some like some dark history with the Dalish elves that I am not quite familiar with. Um, but I do know there was some enslavement involved and all that. But other than that, there, there's not much that I know about them. So I'm excited to dip into the Brazilian forest, maybe learn more about them, pay more attention to the lore and uh, get on with the story. And that being said, you guys, I will see you again next time. Ciao.